At a jalapeno's Mexican restaurant in Eagle River, Cinnamon. they're frying up chimichangas and sopapillas. But not everyone is attracted here by the food. The kitchen workers are preparing the used oil for a weekly pickup. All right. Buenas gracias. We'll take it. Okay. Gets the oil for free. Every week they come by and they, you know, have about 10 gallons set aside. He stores it in the back of his Mercedes. There's a number of folks in town who are doing this who would be more than willing to pick up for free. Pretty soon, it will be running his Mercedes. Time and energy. <laughs> There's that one. I'll flip these two. Now we're on veg. Cruising down the Glen Highway, his diesel car now burning straight vegetable oil. I'm living lighter on the earth, you know? I'm. Uh, doing my part to not use foreign oil and support American farmers. So it's something that I feel is worth it. Kagan lives in Chugiak. The used vegetable oil he picks up every week goes into his pantry. This is kind of our only warm spot that's not living space okay. in the house. I, I wish I had a garage <laughs> to do all the messy stuff in. This is where he will filter all the food chunks and other debris out of the oil. There's a whole series of filters. I mean, you've got the really um, coarse filter, then I have a medium pre-filter, and then I have a final filter here, which is a, you know, it's a fuel filter. Tegan's closet operation is impressive. This is a collection that I've collected. Probably I've got oil here that is over a year old. But nothing like Fritz pliers. From Lots of different sources, restaurants from the state fair. At his home outside Wasilla, Fritz figures he has about 1,500 gallons of used vegetable oil. This is all free oil. Inside his shop, he has a car and a truck he's converted to run on vegetable oil. This is a, an 88 Chevy crew cab with a 6.2 liter non-turbo diesel. He built his own filter contraption. You usually have the oil sitting in the water that is boiling so it gets very warm so it'll pour real easily. Let me pour it in. And this bucket has holes drilled in it so it lines up with a blue jean pant leg sock filters. It goes through one tank and into another that separates the water from the oil. Then allow the air to bubble through to vaporize the water. And then it's ready to burn. It's not a lot of rocket science involved. It's just figuring out the right components and putting it together. The key to burning vegetable oil is first getting it hot and then keeping it hot. Start up as normal, just like diesel. You've got glow plugs to energize. The tank goes in the trunk. Coolant hoses that have the fuel line inside coming back from the engine compartment. The oil runs through insulated lines. Up into a filter housing. The system on Fritz's Mercedes is set to start on diesel fuel. There's a red light here indicating that it is running on diesel. And once the vegetable oil heats up to about 160 degrees, there's a green light that comes on that tells you you're running on vegetable oil. The engine automatically switches. Vegetable oil has about 10 percent less horsepower, but it actually sounds quieter and runs smoother. Take a listen. This is diesel. And this is running on vegetable oil. It's not just for french fries anymore. We've driven out to Seattle in the, the Chevy truck and back, put about 6,000 miles on before I needed to buy any diesel. He figures he saved about $2,500 on that trip alone. They are pioneers in a way motivated as Fritz Plyer is to save money. I can tell that the car is working a little bit harder. Or will Tegan to live lighter on the earth. Driving on free oil, the only pollution left behind, the same motor you experience at the state fair. I feel good about doing it and it's not costing me any extra and so I think it's great.